over 300,000 shops in the village. Whoa. Everyone designed by Mrs. Claus. <laughs> she designed this place. I think it should be called Mrs. Claus's Village. Me too. Well, I never thought of that. Barbie, in the first film, Santa came to you. And in this film, you go to Santa. What was it like getting to enter this magical North Pole? It was definitely crazy. Like I never thought I would actually be able to go into the North Pole and it really felt like the real North Pole. Santa or Mrs. Claus's village was just so incredibly built and it was just so magical. Like I stepped in, into it. It was just like this wave of like magic and it was all real set. Like all the storefronts were like real stores and, and it was just really, really cool to be there with Santa who felt like the real Santa, you know? Kimberly, you know, we open up in the setting of this Christmas, you know, the family's on vacation. So it's a, it's a tropical holiday, very much felt like San Diego during the winter. But for you, what, what is Christmas time? What are some of the traditions? Well, yeah, I've never spent Christmas away from a cold environment. So it was really fun as this character to go to Mexico, we fit it in right under the wire with the pandemic. So we were all having a great time in Mexico. But to me, typically Christmas Christmas is cold and we have a Christmas tree and, you know, caroling. I'm very traditional that way with Christmas. You know, we, we see a parent who loves her kids and wants to provide for them, but is also, you know, embracing change too. Something that we're all learning right now during right. this time. So maybe speak to that a little bit. Yeah. I love that part of this story that it's moving on and allowing for change and growth doesn't minimize the hurt. And, and, you know, we all miss, miss dad, but, but we also have to grow and it's both in the same. And it sort of feels like now, you know, I mean, this change is hard for all of us, but there's also so much good in it and we're all growing. I mean, at least I see that in my world here in Tennessee that the people I'm with, you know, we are growing and learning to adapt during this time. And, and that's a great thing.